This video will guide you through the steps to create your properties. If you are managing owners, you should first create your owner records before moving forward with this step. A property record will need to be created for every property you are managing. Properties can be single units, such as a house, or they can be multi-units, such as a duplex, an apartment complex, or a commercial office space. To create a property, go to Units and Leases in the left menu. If this is a new database, the Units and Leases navigator will look empty like this one. If there are already existing properties in your database, you will see other buttons available to you in addition to Create a New Property. Click Create a New Property and you will be given the option to create a single unit property or a multiple unit property. There are many similarities when creating the two types of properties. We will start with a single unit property and then point out the differences when creating a multi-unit property. The property name needs to be unique within the database. This name will be shown on all property related reports and used for navigation within Property Boss. Single unit properties often use the street address for the property name, such as 1 West Avenue. However, you may want to consider how Property Boss will sort your properties when entering the name. Property names beginning with numbers will sort like this. If you need your properties to sort in numerical order, you can add leading zeros to the property name. If you need your properties to sort in alphabetical order, you can enter the name beginning with the street name followed by the street number. After you have entered the property name, some additional fields will become available. You can record the date and status of the property's availability. If you are using the prospect portal, you can select this checkbox to have this property included in the list of available properties on the site. The full address can be entered here. This address will print on various reports and will default down to the unit and lease addresses. The agent field allows you to choose from your existing property boss users. If at any point you need to mark this property as inactive, you can select this checkbox. The description field allows you to enter a detailed description of the property. If you are using the prospect portal, this description will display on the property listing report. The accounting override is used if the property is on a different accounting file than the default. The details tab allows you to create an unlimited number of custom fields to capture any information needed for your properties. The directions tab allows you to enter directions to the property. In addition to the directions, you can enter additional information that will display on work orders. These fields allow you to store management history information for the property. The Media tab provides a place to store pictures and maps of the property. You can also choose where these images will display. If you are managing owners, the Owners tab will display for you to assign owners to your property. If there is more than one owner for the property, this is where you assign their percentage of ownership. You can also set various management fees for the owner or owners of this property. The Repeating tab allows you to create and manage repeating charges for this property such as regime fees or mortgage payments. The Profit and Loss tab displays the profit and loss for this property in both graph and report format. The Work Orders tab contains the assigned tasks scheduled for this property. You can also view the history of tasks and maintenance done on the property. The Default tabs provide the ability for you to define and set the default terms, late fees, deposits, and repeating charges for new leases on this property. The Leases tab displays all current and past leases on the property, including the names of the tenants. Click OK and you will see your property listed in the Units and Leases Navigator. Now let's create a multi-unit property. These tabs will be the same as we saw in the single unit property. However, this is information that is common to all units of the property. Once you have entered all the property information on these tabs, you can create the units by going to the Units tab and clicking on Create a New Unit. You are given the option to create a regular unit or a template. You would want to create a template if you have several properties that have the same layout and description. To create a template, enter the name of the template here and then click OK. You can now enter all the details that will be repeated whenever you select to create a unit from this template. When you are finished entering all of the relevant details, click OK. Now when you create a regular unit, you can choose to copy this unit from an existing one or model it after the template you just created. You can create multiple units at once by entering all of the unit names in the fields on the right. Clicking on New or Delete will add or remove rows in this section. Click OK and you will be taken to the notebook where the fields will be pre-populated from the template you used or the unit you copied. 
Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to visit our YouTube channel for other helpful videos.